He'll face off with Charlie Coyle. And we're underway from Boston on this Thursday night. You'll see our starting lineups brought to you by Taco Bell. Flash across the screen tonight. Crosby will flip it from center. Batted out of midair nicely there by Hampus Lindholm for Boston. He's played to the corner there. Here's Crosby on his forehand, swings it up, race for the puck. Marchand couldn't get there in time. Coyle works deeper. Here is Marchand. He finds himself one on two. And it's taken away very nicely by Marcus Pedersen of Pittsburgh. Pedersen out there with Chris Letang to start this game. Turnaround shot from Pasternak, and it's tipped home. Marchand in front of the net. 41 seconds in. Boston strikes first. Battle for the puck against bigger people, and he wins the puck. He blows Marcus Pedersen off the puck here. That allows the play to continue, and Pasternak, who leads the NHL in goal, in shots rather, just spins this and fires it to the net. This will not be a highlight real shift. Crosby on the clear check. Sidney Crosby, I mean, he simply does everything well. And always has. He needs to find him and work on his game. Marshan looking for the redirect. The Deltovich came out. Grizzlick to the boards. Two on two battle to the right. Jeremy Swayman. Five minutes in. One nothing. Bruins lead the Penguins. Pittsburgh will jump on it. Back from the tag. Redirected and scored. Into a wide open cage is Drew O'Connor. And he has tied the game for the Penguins. fifth of the year a puck battle behind the net that the Bruins don't clear and the work starts behind by O'Connor like it did for Marchand gets to the front of the net like Marchand and O'Connor is inside the defenseman this time it's Matt Greslick as this rebound comes off the right pad of Swayman Greslick's not in position to poke this away in a nice response from the Penguins here's Graves yeah these defensive pairings for Pittsburgh Ray are rather fluid put it that way well one of the reasons is the the struggles of ryan graves had a tough night in washington the other night there he is he's on the third pair tonight oh the redirect it's graves who gets the primary assist and got the stick there of gensel and so the bruins who come out and score 41 seconds in find themselves trailing tonight two to one distance that deflected or rebounds this time it's graves takes the pass from crosby in the corner and there's Jake Gensel in the middle of the ice. Oh, it doesn't hit Gensel. This is going to be Pedersen's goal. This hits the Bruins forward right there. Charlie Coyle. Gensel misses it. And it goes all the way. He was on ice for three goals against. And there's even talk about sitting him out of the lineup here. He was the big free agent addition. Backhand. Pasternak scores. It's going to be that kind tonight. It's 2-2. Two -two, six and a half minutes in. Two two already. Puck from below the goal line. Hey, does this look familiar? It's a low to high play. The Penguins break down, and goal scorers have this patience, this sense. Pasternak doesn't even flinch as Nedeljkovic has to come all the way across the net, and Pasternak looks up, makes contact with his eyes. Hey, did you guys watch that power play goal from this other team? Can we try that? Obviously, a hockey nerd. It's just remarkable to watch him play because it just never ends. Off the long column, and it's in! And the scoring never ends! Gensel again! Off the stretch pass, and it's 3-2 Penguins. Drill his feet just explode. You think Latang and him have done this before? This is a long area pass into the corner, and Crosby's flying up the middle of the ice. He gets there first, he goes across to Gensel, and Gensel is on the doorstep. Five goals in the first seven and a half minutes. And the Pens lead 3-2. Ray, how is Sid so all alone? Lorai turned it right over. Drew O'Connor's had a really good period. He stands out in a lot of ways for Pittsburgh. Good size, fast, you know, really good penalty killer. The Penguins really feel like there's 15 goals in him. There he is again. He was in a good shooting lane, and this time he makes the pass. And from the bad angle, it is Lars Eller. And it's 4-2 Penguins.
All set up by Drew O'Connors. Excellent play. And a two on all with Eller. He gave it to Eller. Eller gave it right back to him. This time O'Connor gives it to Eller. And Eller finishes nicely. This puck goes high into the net. And we talked a little bit about Eric Carlson earlier and how he has to find his game inside the Penguins team game. This play started with Carlson at the point. Players sometimes enjoy playing it. I can tell you who doesn't, and that's the guy standing behind the bench. They'd like a little more stability to the game than that wild, entertaining first period. And if anybody could take a day off, though, Ray, it would be Sidney Crosby, and yet he doesn't. What an example. That's, that's leadership right there. Carlson one touches it from Malkin, gets the return feed. Here's Carlson. Raquel got the shot. Another shot. Swave and stop both of them. Back for Jeff Carter's got a shooting lane. Didn't get the kind of wood he wanted on that. And missed the mark. The tang got another opportunity. Here's Rust. The one touch gets the return feed. Here's the tang. Let's it fly. Loose puck in front. And they score. Carter in front of the net. And it's 5-2, Penguins. Power play, even by the second group. Look at how crisply they move this puck around. The long shot from Latang and Jeff Carter, who has been a goal scorer for a long period of time, takes the rebound and chips this up, and it gets into the top of the net. The Penguins had five shots on that power play, and at the end of it, a shot, save, and a rebound. He is rubbed out in a big way by Lindholm. And some of the air's been taken out of this building. Turnover. Gensel's in. Shot. Rockets one off the post. As two Bruins collide at the blue line, Jake Gensel's in clean. Gensel beats him over. Cop, look at this. Another turnover. O'Connor nearly got there. And McAvoy will take it away. Now Bruins need to get something going here and quick. Onside is Pasternak. Swings it across. Shot and score! It's Geeky! Maybe that's the spark the Bruins need! And it's 5-3! to three. Look at this play by David Pasternak. He's going to take the packs from, from McAvoy. Spin, head up, and this is a rocket pass across the zone. This is the Bruins' first shot attempt of the period. And it's a sharp angle. Nadelkovic has to have that. He's got to be a little more out of the net. There's no pass to the back door. The play was deflected away. Here's the brusque. Good burst of speed. He's in centers in front. And it's knocked aside. And Reemsdyke was right there. The brusque crashes the glass. Pedersen for Pittsburgh. Center nobody home for the Penguins. Grizzly jumps on it for Boston. Here's DeBrusque, one on three, kicks it up. Carlo lets it go, and he scores! Brandon Carlo with 35 seconds left in the period, and the Bruins have made it a one goal game. Brandon Carlo, a shooting lane from way out, that's a rocket that Nadelkovic could not catch up to. And with some traffic passing in front of Nadelkovic. Boston has made this a 5-4 game. 5-4. And you know the Bruins are starting to feel it here like that they can make a run back at Pittsburgh. Can the Pens stem the tide here a little bit? Rolls it all the way around. Ella will reverse. Boston gets to it. And the Bruins come out with Coyle. Got some help in Marshan. Cuts in. Back in. He scores! Brad Marshan! A shorthand. both come through effort work desire stick to it of this look at him handle this puck through the feet of chris letang stick battling for the puck for position with letang once twice now he gets through and with the agility that he has he got the game's first goal to give the bruins a one nothing lead he's got their fifth and it's five five it is the first shorthanded goal of the season by the bruins Here's Trent Frederick now with a step. Frederick's in, and the Delkovich is saved. Shrugs that one away. Popped out in front of the net, but the Penguins were there. All right, with 8.48 to go, third period. McAvoy back in the box, as you mentioned, right? 
And the Penguins will have to set up the power play. Here's Sidney Crosby, lets it go, and it goes in! Through traffic and through Jeremy Swayman. And it's a power play goal for Sidney Crosby. And with 8.41 to go in the third, 6-5 Pittsburgh. Averaging three and a half shots a game, the most since 2010-11. It starts with a face-off win again. The Penguins are 72% on the draw tonight. It matters so much on special teams. Carlson will race to the middle, and Crosby's shot goes through traffic, through Lindholm, through Swayman. Oh, it hit Lindholm as well. Man, this has been a miserable night. He's their only option. And he lost that faceoff. Bruins win it. Rocking it over the net. Catches glass. And that will do it. Horn sounds. Zeros on the clock. As players come together. What a wild night from Boston.